I swear, the longer I keep making these gaps for these videos, the worse things get for me. Like, more people keep playing this video game, and I am just so conscious about not getting any spoilers of any kind, and I'm just like, why aren't you playing it more? <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Misery Monday. In the last episode, Fakia got killed. And it's crazy to think. And in this episode, we're going to visit under this very table. Byakia was... First, I should best get to the top of the table. Oh, the only thing on top of the table that really catches my eye is... This desk lamp. A desk lamp? It looks like an antique lamp, and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me. So... Now it's not the time for me to, to flinch. Oh, I gotta do it! I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. Immediately, I notice an unexplainable smell, <laughs> like rusted iron hanging in the air. What is that green on this thing? During the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I started to hit my gaze towards Bianchi's body. Obviously the affluent progeny, the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. Well, he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing he could do right now, for Byakia's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Okay. Oh my god, this control. <laughs> what? Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? It seems to be paint applied to the non sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Oh, dully. Words. Could this be glowing paint? What's the point of glowing paint? There's obviously a knife. Just thinking about her. who could be possible for this. Kind of a bloody knife. Is this weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? He thoroughly patted down everyone. He thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that dual looming case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere to far to find. Also, there's one more strange thing about this knife that's strange. Some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. It's the same color of paint. The dim light beneath the table seems to glow dully. Again with the dully. Must be glowing paint. Obtain truth bullet! Yay, truth bullet section of my handbook. So I guess that'll be used for later, alright. Why are the knife ever gone? It's gonna be a lot more mystery stuff going on now, now that someone's, you know, died. Hmm, what is this? Looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey, Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Eh, yeah, what, what, what are they then? Perhaps... There was a probably night vision goggle. Why, why would there be night vision goggles on this island? It is night time, but why would they be needed? Wait, that was a blackout. Why would they be needed still, though? Ugh. I've seen them at the supermarket on the island. It also stuck self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, then the killer used the night vision goggles to kill you. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking, but... How does that fit in? Who who left the night goggles there anyway? That seems a bit silly of a mistake to make. Uh, let's see... Oh no, that's just the night vision goggles. I thought it was just something else. Oh no, wrong button! I'm not... <laughs> the disadvantage of not playing this game as often as I should. Uh, Byakuya's body. Alright. The body's collapsed face down under the table. It's clear he must have been stabbed in the face. See if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looked like he was. Accordion to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Oh, God. That, that, that's just painful even to think about. God damn. What if one of us really do something so horrible? Monokuma file number one has been added and updated in the handbook. Okay. So we can look at that if we want to. And there's apparently something for the blood stain. Alright. The blood from Becky's body formed a huge pool under the table. There's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. There doesn't seem to be any drag marks eating from the blood pool. More bullets to add to our handbook. Hooray for that. Oh, I'm sure I pretty much investigated under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. I Even mean, if it is just a little. I'm sure we're getting closer to the truth behind Byakuya's death. Um, Gundam, what do you have to say about this? Oh, hell, how endearing. Answer my call! Impossible! 
This is ever futile as well. Uh, are you still looking for that earring you dropped? It is not a mere earring. It is the Hellhound earring. Fine. Long ago, in the faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Oh, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way for him. <laughs> Innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and his drenched blood-red fur dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed the diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver. The Hellhound earring. Also, shiver. <laughs> so that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. <laughs> I wear that earring at all times. Is it really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you. Where is it? I said, where did this appear to? I never said words. Maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have been falling through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> wow, that's quite the laugh you got there. <laughs> so that's what that transpired. Such a clever little bauble. Cutter laughed uproariously as he walked towards the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. And peer beneath the floorboard. Ah, oh, there it is! I can see it! I have found it, truly, that is the Hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see, good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I kinda fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Hey, use use that knife! You know, you can just kind of gently hook the earring, unless it's like one of those stud earrings, then I guess not. But, uh, maybe you should just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I mean, give up the earring. You. Oh, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die. Oh, jeez, calm down then. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. No, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that area back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped with the investigation. Hmm. Oh, uh, so I guess that was rather than after all. Um... Okay, I press the B button because I meant to press the X. Uh, oh, we have a little truth bullet section, by the way. So we can look at all the details of each thing. So we have all the information at, on hand whenever we need it. But what I really want to do is check on the pet because... What is it gonna be? I guess it's gonna take a little while anyway. Um... I'm, I, must, I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the only one who has the medical knowledge. Flinch, flinch. That's why I need to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right, I need to calm, calm down first. I, I'm i careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Oh, I am terribly sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sure you something so outside. Ah, you made me remember it again! <laughs> oh god, not again! <laughs> I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making you. Oh, that was me. Oh. <laughs> Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got stuck up by the back out, stepped up the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back up, some meat fell on my crotch. <laughs> it's so embarrassing! Please, please erase it from your memory. I'll try. I won't be able to get it so easily. Sorry. I can't stand it. This is a truth bullet? Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, so that's a thing that we're gonna have to be looking at for the next couple of minutes. Or a couple of hours. Alright. Alright, Mahiru. What you got to add to your testimonials and stuff? Mahiru, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible! One minute Pyakia is alive or well, and then it's something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fun. And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. You can calm down a little bit. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? That we have to find who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we, we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. 
If I had only acted calm during the blackout, Byaki might still be alive. This, this whole thing to would have never even happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Ah, oh, jeez. Can't cheer up my boy. Isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Uh, I got it. All right. Anyway, I won't bother for now. I, I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A, a, a clue? Hey. Photos. The one I took just before the blackout, remember? That was a flash of light. Hey, Bianchi, everybody, come on! I'm gonna take a picture! Alright, say cheese! Snap. Maybe it's in that picture. Alright, the picture. Hmm. Wanna see them? I have digital cameras I can show it to you right now. Ready? Oh, please! Um. Let's see, it's this photo. And this one. Man, look at that pose that Gundam has right there. It's pretty pretty interesting. But also <laughs> Now she is in the back just eating on the food. So there's two photos right before the blackout, but huh? Is, is something wrong? I did first until now right before the blackout, the Akio was. Standing in a totally different place than what we found. Was this bloody? I was in the table with the lamp on top of it. One of the how either he got how did he get goaded over to there or how how is he even dragged over to there without making like a blood trail? What? Uh plot thickens. Prior to that, Byakia was standing along the wall, five away from the table. You're right, that is pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, could you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might, not, might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but uh, I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Leave it to me. It's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thanks. All right. Now that that's decided, you better do your best. Better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? What's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died! Yeah, yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now, and she was feeling down. God damn. Alright, Nagito Kameda, tell me your secret. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of you. The rest of us, right? Yeah, that, that, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, and don't you think he died during that blackout? Well, well, now that you mention it... Well, why was Byaki's body under a tape? Even if the killer tries to hide it, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems funny how what exactly happened during the blackout was key to solving this mystery. There's no way I'd know it was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Her? <laughs> Sorry. A bit of a mood or whatever. I don't know. So, uh. There's no one else in here, is that? Uh, what, what about the dual lumen case? It's metal case Bianca held him. He was made with dual lumen? Last time I saw it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things in this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. What's this? Oh, it's the case for the night vision goggles. Oh, I wonder what's inside. One thing that really catches my attention is small key. The key to the other dual lumen case. The other case is in the office, and all the collected items are inside. sight. The key to that dual lumen case is right here, but it's unlikely to be murdered. What can use to kill the other taken from that case? Which means weapons inside that dual lumen case aren't ready to be executed. All right, okay, I don't get it. <laughs> Why did Biaki have his dual lumen case in the first place? Case packed full of security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case. No, that can't be right. It's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen to him? Because that event brought his trouble to even be extra careful. The case. I guess we'll have to look into the dishes, maybe? Not a fancy looking party dishes. Yeah, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine they're very easy to instant. Uh. What about this? Oh, I pressed the B button again. Stop! Stop pressing! Ugh. That's stupid. I'm not controlled air conditioner. Hmm? Air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, all of you. Why can't you act a little more grown up? Beep beep. Hmm? What was that sound just now? Bzzzap! Air conditioner's probably the one the machine 
Only machine inside this room, and the egg is the control. Time is it to 11.30. Pretty sure Black is time and death was around the same time. Absurd, and that means the chemical sample for the Black Elf probably came from the Agnes. Mission. A fashion of inspiration, not as bad as I thought. Hey, nice find, me. Nice find. Now then, where else should I investigate? A Hajime. A uh, Hajime. A uh, moment? No, no, hold on. What do you, what do you want? Hey. Uh, we're finished with the investigation here. We're going to hear what everyone has to say together. I go by myself, some people might not talk me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. Can't be helped. If everyone's on edge right now, you know? But why me? <laughs> you easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. You have half a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy. Isn't that right? Well, well, yeah, but... Oh, fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. What's that type of idle chit-chat? Nice. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. I forgot for a second. Special feelings, huh? Even so, when he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Well, opinions, yeah. opinions. I guess it, for now, we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building to see the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. So I suppose, uh, looking at the map... Oh, the, there's no one on this map, alright. What about Sonya Nevermind? Um, there is something I want to ask you. What is it? Um... It is strange, no? Maybe it's only that wall is a different color. Perhaps. Why is that? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm, you never seen one? Don't just be shut to keep your fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can't. You can't. You can't run. Words, right? Yeah. I see. It's like a barrier, just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. Yeah, it's only them to keep cats from getting it. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors. I am Truly, I'm culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. So there are fire doors. Okay. Information. Information, yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Let's move along. Hey, Miyota! How's it going? I see, I see. Apparently, a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. Yes. So, that's why I'm also using my feet and just walking around for no particular reason. Oh, that's a reason there's no hey. meaning. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during that blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Eh, how did you know? So you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were told to break softly just now. <laughs> <laughs> softly, that's what that is. Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. Ears that have points coming off of them, but I digress. If you're hearing us so good, why don't you map them? Well, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice from the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you'd have to be able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to a boogie, it'll be easy as fried rice and gravy! Huh? <laughs> la la la! I'll hardly eat it for breakfast! I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice and gravy, friends, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice and gravy is so wrong! I mean, to be fair, when I get myself some Chinese, I get myself some chicken fried rice and some curry sauce to go with it, so... I don't know. She should make a metaphor of a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? Leave it to me! Oh, I'm gonna take a bite out of you! Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you buy Hajime later. Stop it, whatever you take too seriously. Aww. Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right, it was my hero. It's a blackout! Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next, next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! <laughs> what a nice remark I made to the point as his own unique charm. Just, just keep going, please. And there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! Why did Kameda say ow? Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! <laughs> you guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? This is a good refresher, I guess. Perhaps the breaker overloaded? 
hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Do something about it. Do it. <laughs> Alrighty, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me. Give me lots of praise. Uh, I heard you the first time. You just have to get any closer. Hey, Nagido, say something to her. <laughs> hey, does something happen? Oh, I was just thinking about Byaki said during the blackout. What Byaki just said? Why did, he, why, why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is. What do you mean? Why don't we just have to investigate a little bit more? I really can't say anything for sure. What's like I really can't? Yep. Anyway, don't you think like Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yeah! Then praise me! Let me bite ya! Ouch. <laughs> ow. Oof. Ow. Don't bite me. That hurt. Ow. Ugh. Yowza. But, but yeah, that, that was a good point. Like, if he was stabbed in the throat, surely we would have heard him be stabbed in the throat, but also we would have, you know, not had heard him scream. What's about the toilets? Clatter, clatter. Huh, it's locked. Someone appears to be inside. It's the unisic back where I don't know who's actually in there. Hey, hey is someone in there? I went out the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. This is going nowhere. Guess we should give up for now. Check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Oh, th that might be important though. I mean, we don't know for sure. I guess we need to check on the office in a bit. But, oh. I don't know what it is about the uh, controls with controller. With the weird turning. It's like so slow for some reason. I don't know. Check out the office building. Office building. It's soda. Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? I might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. So... Is that it? Yeah, it is. I'm a smart boy. That must be the old building circuit breaker. Blackouts probably have because of this. I see. Hmm, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. Circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you used a step ladder, you wouldn't be able to reach it. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, well during the blackout, I was panicking. It's feel bad. I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach the circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? I did it! Whoa. <laughs> it's here! Actually... You idiots have no idea what to do after that blackout, so I don't want to reset the circuit breaker. By the way... I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. B but how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night. That's why I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know circuit breaker, ah, uh, my body stretches. You know, uh, very elastic. I won't be fooled. <laughs> Why? I'm serious, want to see? I see a version of Monica Uma's body all stretched out. It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagining that makes a lot of people. Oh, really? Oh, such a shame. So cool! Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In the popularity contest, you take first place! I see. And he's gone. He was the one break. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we able to reach it. If that's the case, how did the kid trip the circuit break to begin with? They didn't trip it, it was said it to be tripped, then... The bitch should be tripping. Dear Lumen case. This is the weapons case. Contain all the dangerous items back here. Hey. Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. The yeah, okay, had the key to take the dual loom case with me. Check it out. Right, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key of our mission? The dude's dead. What's the point? Now, now. We're bit into tab with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Click. See? It's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, various tools, cramped suck. Taking the drink, sorry. Apologies for that. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case is inside the case Pyaki had with him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right about that, but... Uh, what's yours? Or what's your, uh, testimonial? I can already tell, you doubt me, correct? What? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time Pyaki was killed. Circuit Breaker is in this office. Naturally, it looks suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean? I see. So I was right! You weren't in the office! But why? 
I'm just supposed to guard the circuit breaker and a dual looming case of all the weapons in it. So why'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... <laughs> she only dropped one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but uh, excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Heck, uh, here's the bathroom inside the old building it's currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? <laughs> it seems like it will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I actually feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? Uh, I'd rather not think about... Wait a minute! Hold your horses. Why is the thing so bad? This. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I've been found. Mono coins! Yes, baby! Alright, so does testimony. Is it Pekka the killer? Why'd you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. And we were looking for Pyaki after the blackout. I went to the office right away, but I got here. She was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly, or else Sonia will yell. Hmm... Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to wear a bandage to stop Pyaki. Hey. Don't you think she looks like Ryan Ruthless too? Like, an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Kazuchi's account... Okay... So... Uh, I want to see if I can look at the pictures again, if they're here anyway. There's a compromising position. Uh, I guess not. See, uh, what I'm thinking is maybe I didn't see her initially when they were showing the two pictures, and maybe if she wasn't there, then that would explain why she would still be here. But I d I don't know. I've uh, still stuff to look around for. Um, okay. Maybe the AC remote control. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? How does it at 11.30? Was it the time with the air conditioner in the dining room hall set for that time? Can't be a coincidence, right? Hey, I leveled up. AC is from the your handbook. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Alright. Actually, leave for once. Thank you. Old building hallway! Yeah, sir. Uh... I just want to check on a pet. 43 steps. She's gonna evolve soon. Crazy. What am I doing trying to leave? Walk back this way. Uh, can we investigate this storage room? We can. Is there anything in here that's important to us? This storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands are full of cleaning the dining room, so I couldn't even touch this room. Even as cobwebs, no way you should stay here for a long time. So, that was the reason why you were staring at me. Alright. Just looking around for hidden monarchs. I don't know. There's probably nothing here. So, stack boxes. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go for each and every one of them. I guess you should leave them alone. Yeah. Huh? A wise decision. Moultry Hamper. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, huh? What? There's something on it. Oh my. Huh? Come here, take a closer look. What? It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it, this is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Pyaki's murder, right? But how did it get into the storage room? Kind of. Like, if, 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 if it was part of the thing. Then obviously people would have heard people leaving that room to dispose of it. Unless they were disposing of it. Huh. Seriously, it is a bloodstain. I'm curious, I'm curious, sir. This is definitely a lot more complicated than uh, the first game's first case. Oh my, what is this thing? I don't know. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Uh, irons? Hmm, are these irons? Looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there free irons on the ironing board? Just like what, your eyes don't miss a thing. And I was looking for Bianca after the back out. I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if the blackout happened, so I turned them off. 
But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. Why would the lions be a part of it? Hajime. Hey Hajime, how much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Oh, that was him. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I get it. You're right. It's a dark area. I can understand not wanting to be in dark areas all the time. It's just silly to think. So, the kitchen seems to be the last place to be. And if it'll allow me to, I need to talk to Kameda outside anyway. So, we don't know yet. There's Hanamura. Here's a, some dishes. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Chinese, Italian, Thai, or Jamaican. Mexican, Egyptian, English, Korean. Okay, now. Fish dishes and a big piece of meat on the bone, too. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. Yeah. Guess that's about it. It's a dish fit for Tropical Island. Never be able to get meat like this in our young. Never be able to get me this in my hometown. Watch as they yam and I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. Why is it so bad? Why don't you get it? <laughs> I asked Nikamaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I mean, who wouldn't want to be punched by those hands? Mm -hmm. Seriously, Nakayama's Mario is so wild, he's totally right at home in the country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is the Ayama and Nazabu, so what country things like that? They set my mind a lot, you know? Man. Uh, I guess I was innuendoing without even thinking. Oh, I thought too deeply into it. Ah, I'm an idiot. I guess this meat has gone to waste, since this all this happened right when the party started. If anyone's waiting any food, or Akane and Becca. We took some portions for herself. Yeah? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Tell you the truth. It's not like I can actually believe it, but there really is a killer out there. I'm probably able to be able to forgive that killer! He's scary when he's mad. God, look at his eyebrows. Jeez. Party dishes! Added the truth bullets, alright. So, the next thing that seems most likely is the equipment list, maybe? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Now I all the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Hmm. Well, just from reading through the list. Oh, pfft. Pressing buttons! Just reading through the list. It looks like the knife next to Byaki's body didn't come from the kitchen. It's been brought from outside. From outside? And how come did the killer get past Byaki's body check come did? weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat downs. If that's the case, why'd he put the knife in advance and hit it somewhere? Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. But the fact that the knife was brought in. It's a peculiar sight to behold. Uh. There isn't like. There was like a knife rack, wasn't there? I swear there was. Alright, let's hear Hanamaru's account. Hey, you were in the kitchen during the blackout, weren't you? <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought I was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, I always pitched back too, and then I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall, but that place was pitch black too. It was, it was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, no, no. Uh, that's impossible. This gas certain electricity to work, so direct directly affected by the blackout. I see, I guess it's not possible. As you work with fire in the kitchen, I think you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. And we have his account to add to truth bullet section. He's a pretty busy investigating the kitchen for now. Wow. Kido, let's keep going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. We investigated quite a lot today. We have ourselves a cookie, okay now. It's just making me think, you know? Yep. Here's not. Okay, let's like pretty much finished looking around the old building. Okay. So how about we check out Byaki's cottage? What? Why there? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out, just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger from there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there too, together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be da that Wait. danger? You mean I am worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine. It's like, Instead of living with doubt in others, it's like so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Here's my hope speak academy. All right. All right, let's get going to Byaki's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. 
quick warp. Oh, right, no. Remember I left the old building, there was a strange scene of you before me. What's Chucky doing? What? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, my question exactly. Jeez. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Alright, he was looking for his air rig. No wonder. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. What if there's a floor thing related to the case? What if you can actually get under the floorboards and that? Oh no, that's a thing to think about. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. Well, you're smart at least, Chucky. So I thought it was important to check it. Yeah. You know what you're talking about. I see. Under the floor, huh? Never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table when we found Bianchi's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. That is it possible that the killer killed Bianchi by stabbing him from the face to the floor? Yep. But how? So he must have gotten like underneath the table somehow and then stabbed through the floor, if that's what you're implying, but that doesn't seem likely. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building's surrounded by fur fences, so there's no way to sneak out from under the floor from there. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. I think there's a possibility there's a hidden hole somewhere. The bathroom. Wow. Oh, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief! Why? Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also didn't have an alibi. Oh, Kazuryu. Oh, I was wondering where the hell he was. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not after I'd been guarding the entrance, Hiko came around. What? He did? Huh? What happened to you, Hiko? Huh? Oh, hey, what are you doing? I'll learn a place like this. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, even if you pay me. Parties are stupid. I'm not a vomit. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Oh, of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but. Hmm. And leave me alone. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here then? See? Probably wants to be a part of the group, but can't be honest about it. At least he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. Is that the main character of an RPG? Have you played this before? Not a couple. Thank you very much, Chucky, for your account. See? Even though I don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt I'm him. Glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. I keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea what the killer is. Who even? <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head out to Miyaki's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, though no, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly proclaim the Hellhound earring with my own two hands, and I somehow managed to spit on my laptop, even though I'm quite a few feet away from it. A couple. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Seems he has no intention of investigating. Uh, ba -ba -da. Obviously, there's one place we need to go, which is Byakuya's place. Hey man, oh! Wrong button. Instead of pressing the pause button. Oh my! Uh, she's a snake person! Okay! If you say so, video game! Kameda. Alright. Now then, we must head up to Byakuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student's hand. So it's the one right next to mine. If you insist, game. Clatter clatter. Huh, <laughs> it's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Hey, hey Monokuma! Did you call me? Hey! <laughs> Nagato, why did you train Monokuma? 
Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. I said if you want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> Wanna get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can't even play soccer by myself as long as it's coding me. I'm trying to play. What is Monokuma? <laughs> I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and unpack his college already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's all you really need. For the class trial? <laughs> if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Clap. I'll leave the rest to you. See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic, magic spell? Probably powered by electricity, at any rate. That performance is a waste of time. I see. Guess we should go inside. Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Alright. No hidden monokumas. Way to prove me wrong, video game! No. 26 monocoins, it's good for me at least. Um, well, he's got a bunch of books in his room at least, so uh, that's one thing he's got. There's this envelope on the table. It's a letter to someone said to Bakia? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Ashby, you... you should check what's inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do that anyway, just to see what it is. Huh. So, it must have been someone else other than Byakia, because obviously he was the dead man. But someone. Was either the killer who sent him the kill, or someone else who knew about who the killer was going to do? Ugh. Curious or incurious, sir. This is. This is a confession of love, no? This is a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, what, who said something like this? Maybe. This is what Piakia suddenly decided for a party. Huh? First kill will happen tonight, because someone made this thread to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area, and was extremely cautious about all the dangers I knew. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill him. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just the worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya said? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook simply that slim possibility, just keep it promise. Why do you keep it a secret? If you just told us. No. You probably couldn't. You probably thought that's also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Everyone knew what was in that letter. Whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. And at that point, there'd be no turning back. So, Byakia tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His struck sense of responsibility is the only explanation I could think of. Anyway, uh, whoever sent Byakia to letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, oh, this could be a prank. It might have nothing to do with Yaki's death before. But when could that have been posted? <laughs> this is the question. And what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer, but still, we come along all the way here, and it's the only one I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Yaki. That's the case, that person completely predicted how Yaki would react once he received it. I planned to manipulate Yaki and kill the right for our eyes in that old building. Damn it! Who the hell would do that? Murder threat. Hey, Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the crash trial stop. Probably. <laughs> ah, which reminds me, you must have some. Mercy. You asked me here for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted to help her find out where everyone was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. What? I need some time alone. I need to, some time to collect my thoughts. Oh, I see. I understand. Hey. If you go back to that old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of an autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. Very true. Pressing buttons. It was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. What could have been the thing? This is why. It's just that thing of thinking. Wait a minute. Oh, no. 
I, I was confused for a second. I was like, how do I end up on the other side? But no, it just turned down that free Hiko's thing. Is on the side of Briakia's accommodation. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Did you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course it did. Apparently, Byaku is the one who got killed. So what? What, what did you say? You think I'm the killer? I think whatever you want. I'm used to being trusted. Uh, and that's not why I'm. Well, whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Check my alibi, eh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling by my cottage or by myself. Well, I just had time. The whole time? Because Chucky said she saw you in front of your building. Shut up! That was a bitch. Jeez. True, I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? The time you actually tried to join the party. Don't fuck with me. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Alright, for you, Hiko. That's what you say. Missed you, buddy. We spent like a whole episode without even seeing you. It's like, okay. What a shame. Mon me, what's going on? Too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh yeah, might as well ask about the old buildings windows. Hey, do you have a sec? Uh, I wanted to ask you something, Mommy. I, I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna help you, guys. Just trust your friends. What the hell? It's like we're doing this because we want to. No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old buildings windows are completely covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I can't up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside. This is dangerous because because of the renovation. I see, the renovations, that's why I covered them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside! Dangerous isn't supposed to exist in this island! This isn't how it's supposed to be. But why did I get like this? It, it's cruel. Too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean that you can keep just crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. Huh. So. We have our situation dealt with. But we just need to know the specifics. <laughs> What's Gundam laughing about? God, what the? How was that loud voice just now? Wait, no, what? That wasn't Gundam, was it? That was uh, man. You know, Nakamura, need I? That seems to be open. I don't need to go right now. It's time to go inside. Let's pan around slowly. Of course, he's here. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nakamura Nidai, have been reborn! I have no intention of losing anyone! Losing to who? I will lose to anyone, not even to my past self! That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? That's pretty succinct. What? God, I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was at the Sar. I actually mentioned it. He said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all! Jeez. Well, if you think I'd be angry with something like that, you're on this made my nerve and patience. Do all the chief rewards, presence of mind. This is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, and I'm pretty sure he was shaken up, shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying that the bathroom door was shut from behind before the party started after the blackout? So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after the Yaki's body was found! That's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but just remember just in case. Everyone's accounts, all time, every time. Uh, let's go into the dining hall. Hopefully, everyone's been situated. Uh, Mahiru. Hey, hey, you're here. Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't stacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Well, just take a look at this. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much standing for. It's actually a really well done drawing. Good job, madam. I made this diagram from analyzing those photos. I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Bianchi was standing a far distance from the table. Oh, I thought they felt camera wrong for some reason. <laughs> it's impossible. There's no way he was able to move that far during the blackout. Huh, what's that line extending from the table to where Bianchi was killed? 
Um, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cover just in case. Power cover, desk lamp? That caught its setting on the table if Yoshi was killed. That means. So, did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all! Hmm? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that the clue is hidden there. Extremely important clue. So I guess we can add that to our list, but first, have you all topsy? If you, if you like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? I tried within reason to pull the autopsy of Jackie's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Biaki's chest and abdominal regions. These deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. We assume that a very thin sharp object around 5mm in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Aww. I feel sad for her. I want her to make it out. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. Talk about it makes me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you just wanted to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, about five millimeters in diameter. Isn't that pretty thin? That's a thin ice picker and all. I guess that's a word I need to look up. I guess I have never heard the term "all" before. All right. All right. Haha. <laughs> no. Ding dongs, bing bongs. It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Oh god, more elevators. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Jeez. A mountain was carving a monkey his face in a central island? That can't be real! Oh, guess I'm out on my adventure now. Uh, what's the map saying? Um, oh, there is, okay. Oh, oh, I, I think I know what that is. Oh right, it's it's the it's the Monokuma Rushmore. All right, see here it is, Monokuma Rock. Found it. Good boy. <laughs> Monokuma Rock. Well, that that was actually a really cool introduction of Panin. Huh? Are you kidding me? What the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? Never mind that. I don't even make a mountain ship with Monokuma. Don't, I, I, I swear that there was this mountain was here before. I'm sorry I made a comment about it, but if not, then it's strange that I've already known about it. I don't know how, but anyway, that story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. You mean what Byakia said before, right? You are right. Byakia was. We still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Byakia, 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 Byakia. What happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here. I got it! I know, they probably ran away! No way! Ah, oh, hell nah! There's no way you let them escape, you know! Look, I dragged this one back over here! Fuck with me. I'm telling you, you let me go! Hey! Hey now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you up! Hey, hey Fuyuhiko, where were you? What were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. Just chilling in my room when I suddenly got that fat bass I got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? Ew. How could you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We're doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. Wait. Oh, here, that's enough. You, you too, Fuyuko. Dumbass. Um, I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I'm right yeah. here. Now then, let Remem us begin. Remember this well. A main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? Seems you noticed it too. <laughs> if I did, then I'm right. Well, now. All right. Now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret edges of the trial field. Well, Please wait a second. My my bother me. Just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. Aye aye. Well, do you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot. <laughs> 
Do you want to taste how powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought! Oh well, I have a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow your special participation. Participation. <laughs> I mess up that word so badly. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. Huh? He told us to come, but how, how do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? You mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? Secret agent, man. There's a surveillance camera all the way back there. Wherever I go, there are surveillance cameras all over the place. I was controlling Monaco with the monitoring of these cameras too. Pissing me off the thing I'm being watched by a lunatic. There's nothing I can do about it. If you insist, buddy! Uh. Dr. Kazuru, it's been a while, mate. Shut up, give a flying fuck with that fat pig is dead. Who fucking cares? Seriously. What a colorful vocabulary that man has! Alright, Sayonji as well. We haven't seen her in a while. What happened, Hajime? Are you scared? Seriously, you're such a wuss. Jeez, why are people being so hostile right now? You were wondering about Gun too, right? You too, huh? Hmm. And Chiaki. And then Ibuki joined it off. Yeah? In RPG video games, it's common for secret areas to be on the ground. Playing a situation to a video game, uh, you're obviously not thinking correctly. We have to go behind the waterfall, right? Yeah, we have to find the waterfall on the island. Okay, she's still in a trance. <laughs> and we can. I, I, sw I swear, last one. Why? This is definitely strange. Why is this happening? Why do we have to find the killer? Uh, if there's any place where the secret elevator is going to be, it's going to be on the rock itself. Roar! What the? Something's shaking. This is dangerous. Everyone, please get down! Oh! I... Something came out? Could it be? Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious aura. Even Crimson Steel Elephant Magazine is traveling from here. Oh. Oh, that's so totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey. Forgive me, seriously, just forgive me already. Oh. <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. No way, no way. There's no, there's no way we can find the killer. Stupid. Complaining will get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for good sake. Come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. That's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. This for a video game, it'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear this video game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me. And when each of us entered Monaco Rock. What? There's the elevator. This is an elevator. I see. The entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Nakuma is doing what he pleases. However, However if we're going this far, it takes something like this. I don't think he's playing around. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound inside my head. I just realized it was the sound of my teeth. <laughs> All I could do was pursue. Curse my lips. Yeah, pursue your own lips. Tightly, so everyone. Else could hear it. <sighs> there we were. Listen to the unpleasant roar as so the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending. And then the elevator door slowly opened. Oh my! Welcome. There's an iPad on the right. Welcome. This is the class trial field! How do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate. Why you? What the hell is he thinking? I'm gonna sort of shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me. Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole! <laughs> Complain all you like, I'm used to it by now. Oh, come on, if you're wasting your time and energy, hurry up and take your seats while your names are written. It's like everyone knows, if we try to resist, we'll change a thing. Just as Monica ordered, we walked towards the seats that we have been assigned. From this point on, we need to find out who killed Yakia. He also had after progeny, Byakuya Togami. It was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending, but he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as leader, tried his very best to keep us together. 
a guy like him got murdered. The person who did it is one of us. Okay, his silhouette's been redded out. I was like, hang on, what's he doing here? And why is Ibuki pointing at him? I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life threatening trial, feeling of hope and despair, has begun. We are saving our current progress in empty slot 6. And. Okay. Guess I could change difficulties. Oh, we can open the handbook. Alright. So that's it for this episode of Misery Mondays. Next episode is the class trial. Where we do our best to figure out who the hell even killed this Byakuya. And how even this all fit together with all of the bullets that we have and all that. So see you guys then. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'm excited for tomorrow. Or the next Monday. I'm real excited.